Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. So today we got some interesting um, requests. We got a marathon for the band Zebra. And I've never heard Zebra, but I just figured out something while I was looking for the songs. Dream Theater actually covered um, the song that we're going to play today, which is Take Your Fingers From My Hair. They covered it on their uh on their um, uh, Dream Theater release. It was like a special edition. So it's sung and played by Dream Theater and even on a live um, album as well. So it must be a very good song. Now, the only thing I can't find is Take Your Fingers From My Hair. On Spotify, there is only one version, and that's basically called The Workshop Demo. So I don't want to play the demo. I'd rather go on YouTube and just play, I mean, the sound is not going to be as good, I guess, but I'd rather play the original. I don't want to play a demo, you know, so uh, that's just the decision I made right now. So this um, marathon is for Douglas. Thank you so much, Douglas. Also, Douglas um, uh, and everybody else, of course, if you're new to the channel, of course, Douglas is not new. But if you guys are new to the channel and you like Zebra or you like progressive rock or rock, classic rock, metal, everything that we do here, jazz, jazz fusion, please like and subscribe so you can support the channel for new content and all that good stuff. So, um, Douglas, we're going to do three songs for you today, just like you requested from the band Zebra. We're going to do Who's Behind the Door, um, Take Your Fingers From My Hair, which I'm going to play from YouTube because it's not on Spotify. So that's the only version who might sound a little bit more low quality, I apologize for that. And then tell me what you want. All the others I do have on Spotify. And uh, they look like they're from, uh, you know, the official uh, releases of the albums. Okay, so let's start with Who's Behind the Door, which is from the um, Who's Behind the Door album. And that is from, uh, okay, that's already like a red. Flag. All right, guys. So I was going through some trouble here. Uh, don't worry. I've got everything pulled up. Zebra from 1983, original studio versions. I was just like, it was taking me through this whole like mess. Don't worry. I got it pulled up. So here we go with the first song, Who's Behind the Door? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
very cool, man. Very cool. And what I just saw is uh, I have to give credit, of course, where credit is due. Uh, the person who uploaded this song is BZQ KSO Productions. And he basically did a whole like that was very cool for me, uh, like this whole slideshow of images of space and bent very well with the song. But I loved the the song. I love the acoustic aspect of it. Very spacey. And the vocals were very cool. And I love that he was doing almost that uh, that vocalist from Supertram, that very high pitched falsetto. That was super cool. And it says here, even in the comments, this is one of the most underrated songs of the early 80s. Um, and then I can listen to this song on repeat over and over. Uh, this is perfect fusion between talent and technology. These early 80s synth sounds were so uh, grandio grandiose. Uh, and it's just like everybody loves this. So it looks like this is a really like hidden treasure treasure band that kind of never got the attention it deserved. But um, I love that it was a very cool song, very spacey, like they like they mentioned. It had a lot of sound effects and lasers, and but overall a very nice composition. Um, really cool. Thank you so much for you know giving me the opportunity to discover this through you. Um, Douglas. So let's go with the next song, which is um, Take Your Fingers From My Hair. Like I said, Dream Theater has covered this. So let's see here. Um, I already had it pulled and up. here I'm back. So this is exactly the, the, the reason why I don't use YouTube to react to because all really good songs have commercials and it's just a nightmare to cut those out. And that's why we always use Spotify Premium. It's the best sound source it's the best quality there's no commercials no bs because now i have to like uh we were gonna listen to some honda commercial so here we go with uh take your you take your fingers from my hair this is the original 1983 version from the album here we go <laughs> Never heard the Dream Theater one, by the way. Not yet.
Like Alexa's really gonna dig this a lot because of the voice. It does sound very, it doesn't sound too heavy. For, um, not that she doesn't like like heaviness at all, but it has that beautiful guitar intro acoustic. You know, he, you can hear like the steel strings on the acoustic guitar, but it has that synth and that super nice voice. That really high pitched voice. I, I, she loves that stuff, especially that's like just a reason she loves Super Trem so much. The the synth, the guitars, and that voice. And it's just very nice. I mean, laid out very, very nice. It just feels good, this music. It's very well written and composed, and it's just one of those, you know, feel good songs. Um, I'm definitely going to check out more Zebra. And I don't even know, maybe. We got a zebra CD, but I wouldn't, I don't know that that's, uh, that would be very weird if we got one we didn't notice. Let's keep going. That intro. Loving others isn't 
very cool, very cool. I'm almost bummed that it stopped, you know, when it was getting like into that solo section. But yeah, it reminds me a little bit of like um, Blue Oyster Cult, like the whole very, oh, Boston, Boston, more Boston, I think, uh, like that song, more than a feeling, very beautiful guitar intro with that, you know, um, steel string and then just like build upon that. It's very nice. I mean... I really love that. It's a seven minute and 20 second song. And it had a little bit of everything. Nice bass lines, a good guitar solo, very cool singing. It's a very uh, nice band. Um, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that they're so underrated. Um, now, guess what, guys? So I did find the third song, Tell Me What You Want, on Spotify. And it's the same version that we would play on YouTube, but I just have the better it just has the better quality so let's do that um instead of the youtube file and uh here we go let's play that one tell me what you want same album 1983 here we go i've been wasting my time oh
very powerful, very cool, very great. I um I was just reading a little bit. So um it says here that Zebra is the debut album by the American hard rock band Zebra released in 1983, eight years after they were founded. The album features all um all original material with the exception of Slow Down. Um, a Larry Williams tune, best remembered, blah, 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 the Beatles, and then uh, injected a mid-song uh, with much of the second stanza of, okay, this is not so important, but it says here, the album also featured two hits which received national airplay, Who's Behind the Door, and Tell Me What You Want. On the strength of both singles, the album became one of Atlantic's fastest selling debut albums ever and peaked at number 29, attaining a level of commercial success that the band was unable to repeat on subsequent releases. That's the problem that they basically never got that, you know, that following again. And Take Your Fingers From My Hair was covered by Dream Theater for a special edition of their 10th studio album, Black, uh, Black Clouds and Silver Lang. That's the one I was talking about. So basically, the band were basically on the rise and really did great and then i guess they never repeated what they would did on this but so basically douglas you showed me the best of zebra but i mean i'm not to judge too quickly like i'll give him another chance i'm of course gonna listen to more and even the second album because i mean maybe if it's not radio a radio hit that doesn't mean that it's not good you know that's what we Basically, that's the world we live in. If you're not good, if you're not successful on the radio, then you can basically say goodnight. You know, that's the problem that we face with music today, that if you're not on the radio or it was MTV in the 90s, now it's, I guess, on YouTube or Spotify. Um, if you don't get the, the enough attention, then you're basically your bust. So that's a, a bummer. I love these three songs very much. Very good quality, amazing singing, great guitar solos, great like intros. The whole like uh, composition aspect of this band is very good, very fine musicians. And um, just lucky, like unluckily not as you know, famous, but that doesn't say anything to me, you know. So um, we cover a lot of bands that nobody really knows, but these guys were actually very famous at some point in time. But, well, what do you guys think about Zebra? Have you heard them? Let me know in the comments section. Would you like to hear more? Like Douglas provided us with this, you know, uh, with these three songs in this marathon. This was really interesting because it did have that 80s, sound of course that we got from journey and boston and blue oyster cult and so forth and so on but i loved it really much it was very entertaining very cool uh a very short marathon actually but um that's the 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 songs that uh, uh that they were chosen although i mean i did kind of like make like four videos i'm gonna paste them together so i think it's it's pretty long uh now that i think about it so douglas thank you so much for your contribution to the channel it's always nice to have more content more bands that uh that we have not reacted to i'm obviously going to show this to alexia she's going to dig it very much especially because of the singing but thank you so much everybody i hope you enjoyed Douglas, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.